Hi everyone! Today I'm gonna tour you around in my art room. Um, so this is my prayer room. Also, and this is my, all my canvas. So I have fourteen by fourteen, sixteen by twenty. I also have eighteen by twenty four. This is 8 by 10 and all my uh, paintbrush. This is, I use this one, um, a glazing, when I wrap a canvas uh, for shipping. So I have bubble wrap. It is important when you ship your paintings, um, that you wrap it with glazing or any shiny uh, paper like uh, paper towels you can use it also before you wrap it with a bubble wrap so this is some of my um, acrylic pour that been dried already so it's ready for a uh, varnish but I don't have a uh, time to varnish this week but it can wait so this is some of my tools so I use this cup also for uh, pouring it's my plastic knife so this is from the breakfast body of my daughter so I keep it my marker this is acrylic uh, marker that you can use when you sign or uh, for embellishing also you can use this so this is from from our friend so I have um, this pa this paints I haven't used it a spare paint so I have all the metallics paint have my cup this is a uh, I use this when I do acrylic painting because uh, it's easy to use and I can just throw it after so I have spare bottles for my acrylic pour. So any uh, bottles, I keep it. Also this one, this is from my medicine, so I keep it. Because you can use it um, when you want to store some of your paints. So my sink strainer plastic strainer this is from the bottle of a uh, soda so i keep also some of the cards that we're not using anymore so i have my ergon i bought this in amazon so i use this when i if i want to uh create cells so I have my colander and measuring cup. So this is the foam brush that I used to use when I varnish my paintings. I bought that in a dollar store. Oh, removing. So this is um, some of the leftovers of my acrylic pour. So I don't like storing a lot of uh, paint because um, I don't have much bottles. And uh, sometimes I just pick the colors that I really want. So this is my airbrush. My airbrush. my 
So I bought this also uh, to Amazon. I think it's around um, 50. So I used that on some of my project. So this is my storage area. This is one of my acrylic pores. So I need to clean that also and um, varnish. So I'm waiting for my paintings to be on the 20 before I varnish all. So uh, this is from a bottle from um call that bullion chicken bullion. So I like using this when I when I pour because they are uh, the same size. So I have my tapes. So um this is from um toilet paper. So I cut it into two. And I'm gonna use this in the future. So I have my paper towel, papers. Um, this is the gloves that I've been using. So if you watch my video, guys, you can see that I'm always using gloves. So this is the gloves I'm using. I have my aluminum foil and plastic wrap because um. When I have leftover paints, what I did sometimes is um, I put that on a container and I just keep the cup inside the container and put a foil. Especially if the leftover is just a tiny. But uh, you can still use that in some of the project. So I like organizing my pa my paints like in close color like this one is brown, parchment, um, gray. So this one is black and white, so that I can easily um pick the colors that I want. So this one is violet um. Yellow, orange, those uh, colors that near to each other. This one is a touch of blue, green, yellow, green. So, this is my shelves for all my acrylic paints. And now I'm going to show you guys how I um, record my video. Um... Because I'm not using any camera, I'm just using my iPhone in capturing all the tutorial. So I have two phones. This is the phone that I'm use, I, I use every time I record my video. So I have a long card also here. So, um, this is the construction that my husband uh, made. So, this is a long wood. I think it's around 2 inches. You can see it here. And then my husband put a string on the side. So, it need to make, you need to make sure that the string are on the same height. Then, um... So I can adjust it also. So there's um what do you call this? You can adjust a spare what do you call So it looked like not level but um you can adjust it. So what I did is um I put my phone, I'm gonna show it to you guys. So this is my spare phone. I put my phone at the top. Then I need to move a little bit. So I always make sure that when I record my video, I also plug in the battery. So 
sorry for that. Plug in. Then I'm gonna open my 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 YouTube. And then start recording like that. So make sure that uh, your piece is in the center, whatever you want to take a video like that. So once I center the object, I'm gonna use my feet to move a little bit. Once you center the, the object, you can start now recording it. So it's a little bit shaky, but uh, you need to wait for a minute so that the, the wood will not shake and the camera also is not shaking. Then after that, I'm going to hit the red button and start. So that's it, guys. So um, every time I finish my pour, before I do a close-up look, I stop it. Then save save the video. Then that's the time I'll make a close-up for another set of video. So that's it. Um. I have this this one. So this is some of the acrylic paints that I haven't tried. This is from Miss Christina Welch, and I'm planning to try this in my in my next pour. So this is it, guys. This is my art studio. I hope that. You enjoy watching I also have a couch here so we also have a spare toilet um, powder room it's a powder room so this is my light. So because I'm in the basement, I need a lot of uh, lights so that uh, it's not gonna be dark in the video. So there's also light. There's also light. And I have um, Paper flowers here. It's a DIY flowers. Parrot. So thank you so much for watching and have a blessed day everyone.